Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. So we are out here tonight trying out our homemade Venturi that we built for our homemade pipe burner. Now we built these pipe burners about two years ago and at that point we purchased some Venturis online for around $90 each. Right now we only have about a little over $30 in this homemade Venturi. And I'll tell you, it is absolutely doing wonderful. I'm gonna turn the lights down off of that so you can actually see how well that pipe burner is doing with that homemade Venturi. Honestly, we think it does better than the purchased Venturi. What's really neat, there's only one main hole to drill and that's for your orifice. We're gonna show you how to build this, so please stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna go over our raw materials really quick. We have a one and a quarter inch black pipe T. Okay, we have two four inch black pipe nipples. These are one and a quarter inch as well. We've got a number 57 orifice. Now I drilled that out to 560 force. And then we've got a bushing that's gonna hold the orifice into the T. And this material over here, that's just gonna be used to help control our air if we need it. So it's, it's just a fender washer. This is a two inch fender washer, a hose clamp, and I think those are like 832 by one and a half inch, little small screws. I've got a little nut on that to help adjust it and a wing nut that also will be used to adjust it. And you'll see that when we get it all together. Okay, what we're gonna do with these is these are gonna be basically our air regulators that are gonna be on the sides of this Venturi. Okay, to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our orifice into our black pipe T. And all we're doing here is we're using a bushing to hold it. And so that's just gonna go in there like that. So we're gonna put that in there. Our orifice in, tighten that up, and I just hand tighten this stuff. You can go in and tighten it up really well. I usually leave mine hand tightened because I take it apart once I get done using it, so that it uh, it won't ever actually rust together. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to screw in these nipples. That's it. Okay, now we're going to put our air controller on here, and I'm going to try to demonstrate this. So all we do is we're just going to put that on. And what you want, you want to tighten this up where that little nut is almost to the edge, as close as you can get to the edge of your pipe nipple. So we're just going to tighten that up. All right, that's tight. So now what we're going to do so we're going to put our washer on. Then we're going to put our wing nut on. Okay, once you get this on, this is real simple. You, could, you just basically adjust where you want it to go, tighten it down. It's very simple. If you want 100% airflow, just pull it open, tighten it down. Just like that. Okay, we're out here at night. Let's try out this homemade Venturi with our homemade pipe burner. So it looks like it's working good. I'm gonna show you what our air control does here. You can see you're starting to get some yellow tips in there. Let's do this one. Yeah, and that's really restricting the air, so it does make a difference. I don't know if you can see that, but it really is restricting the air, and you're getting some yellow tips out of your burner. I'm going to open those back up. So that's looking really nice. Okay, I'm gonna come get a close up 
there's our homemade Venturi. And we have it connected to our homemade pipe burner that we built two years ago. This thing is putting out some heat. So I think this answers the question. Can you build a homemade Venturi and just drill one main hole in it and get it to work? The answer is yes. There's our Venturi. We drilled that main hole in the center. That's where we have our orifice. And the only other holes we drilled was actually in those fender screws for our air control. So I had friends at work asked me if gas could be escaping out the Venturi from these sides here. And I tell them no, that actually air is being pulled in from both sides as the pressure of the gas goes into the pipe burner. And so they asked me if I could demonstrate, and I said, sure. So I'm going to do that for you now. Okay, so you see we've got a little wind, and this lighter is actually, the wind is actually blowing the flame to my right. And watch as we get closer to the Venturi. See how it sucked in there? We'll do that again. So you can see it's actually pulling air in. And that flame is just proof that it's pulling air in, and that's what it's doing from both sides. So we hope you gained some useful knowledge on how easy it is to build your own homemade Venturi for your homemade pipe burner. Thanks for watching.